hearing is for us to accept comments from the public on our proposed uh, increase of the transfer station sticker fee from its annual fee of ten dollars to twenty dollars. So, is there anyone who'd like to speak to this? And there is a, if you want, there's a chart up here. If you'd like to come get copies of that. Any comments or questions? Yes. No, that's all right. We share. We share. Sorry. I, uh, um, my only problem with this is uh, we're, we want to go up to a twenty dollars. I, I went online and went to some towns around and the ones that I could get the information. Some of them don't offer the information. Uh, I don't see any. I didn't go on any sites that had a twenty dollars. They had twenty dollars for two years. Uh, I think Freedom, New Hampshire. I buy a sticker up there. I think that's twenty dollars for two years. And that's uh, I think there's quite a bit. Um, my problem with this is, you know, in this town, uh, it's always been a uh, sort of subject to me because years ago when I moved here, I. I say this story every time. I moved here, we had 30 something years ago. We had trash pickup, we had a spring pickup. Like, I'm not sure if we had a fall pickup. They used to come around with a town uh, truck and pick up. We had some big items and stuff. So then the selectmen uh, came up with the idea well, you know, we want to keep our taxes down, and so we're, we're uh, doing away with trash pickup. So now I lost the service. I can take time out of my Saturday, come down here, and uh, before all I had to do was put the rubbish in the road. Now I got to take time out of my Saturday, come down here, and uh, uh, you know bring my garbage, uh, bring it back home. But but that's fine. I, I'm I'm doing that. Uh, and my only problem is is you know we. We've, most of these other towns, a lot of them are free for the sticker. And here we are, we're trying to make money, uh, you know, selling the stickers for $20 a year. You know, it was bad enough at the 10 and and, uh, and now she, they want to up the price. We're already paying, uh, you know, with the rid of, rid of stuff like tires and stuff like that, which it, it, that's the way it should be. Other towns do the same thing. We're pretty, pretty much in line with them now. The other, the other thing, which I don't advocate, most of these towns here have Saturday and Sunday uh, transfer station hours. We don't have any Sunday hours, but I'm not. I'm, I'm fine with these hours. But you know, I'd like to, uh, you know, coming back to what the selectmen did, they, they did away with the trash pickup. Now I got to go to go to the dump. They, you know, they told me to rent the taxable. Well, guess what? My taxes have been going up, and somebody else got the service. I lost the service, and now we have more fire trucks. We get more police cruisers. We've got uh, more SUVs uh, for the chief, and this and that. And yes, and, and, and I lost the service. And now we want to go up to twenty dollars, take more money out of my pocket, something that should be free, or at least pay for the cost of the sticker, maybe a buck or something like that. I, I can't see why the residents of this town should have to pay an additional fee for a sticker when, when they're paying for the items they're going to get rid of. And, uh, you know, and, and that's the way it should be. I, I think it's time in this town to give the residents something, you know. Uh, you know, I hate to say it, but, uh, you know, we get police service and we get fire service. 
and uh, you know it's not a nice town to live in. But roads get plowed. Yeah, the roads get plowed. And but, the town. Yeah, but I mean it's not uh, you know you, you go to these other cities and towns and uh, sometimes uh, you're getting a little you're getting some services. Well, I'm looking at these towns here. At least they're not uh, in their pockets for twenty bucks. I mean you know so that's well, Mark. It's it's a buck sixty seven a month for twenty dollars. Yeah. It's a dollar sixty seven a month, and and it's either going to come out of a user fee, and if you take a look at this, this tells you shows the percentage, or it comes out of general taxation. But we're not doing it. There's no profit here. This just goes to pay right. for part of it. And so if you look at the top chart right now, the the proposed operating costs for the transfer station for twenty eighteen. Are 111,065. That includes the regular section of the budget as well as uh, maintenance and utilities and heat. So, transfer station cost is $111,065 to run. So, without an increase in the sticker fee, uh, the, that sticker fee covers about 28.8% of the total cost. The rest we're paying for anyway, it's coming out of general taxation. But people who don't use the transfer station at all, Means are paying for it. You know, the businesses in town, the landlords in town, you know, who exactly. provide a dumpster. And so we're proposing, you know, for some total, not a, a, an increase but for the entire total of a dollar, whatever I said, 67 or something per month, that it would allow us to sort of increase the amount that the actual users are contributing to what the transfer station. Well, you know, people always use that thing in front of for a cup, of a, uh, for the cost of a cup of coffee, you can, uh, you know, this is what it's going to cost you, and, and I hear that all the time at the school and everything else. But it still all adds up to more money. Okay, now these towns do the same thing. Right? Their cost is going up too, but they're not. I don't see the, the prices reflected on on any of their. Uh, did you, I'm sorry, did you want to say something? I do. I sit on the Landry call box. Yeah. So the only two towns on this list are Madbury and North. Madbury has a gentleman's agreement with Dover to use their disposal in the winter. Madbury's transfer station <coughs> isn't even open in the winter at all whatsoever. Okay. And they don't have curbside business. They have a gentleman that comes around. He gets paid to do it. And he's been doing it for like 30 years. So it would. they don't have what you think they have. So they don't well, have I, the transportation at all in winter time because they don't want to fly up. Oh, oh yeah, you're just talking about what you I know. I went on their website. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So but sometimes it's not the whole story. I think that's right. Good. Right. That's, that's true. But I mean, I don't think they're all like that. Uh, well, what do you think Summersworth and Dover does? Well, they have bag and bag. I mean, it's expensive to dispose of, of garbage. So you would rather. So I mean, so I guess what you're telling us is that you would rather have it be general taxation. That's right. And and then no fee at all. No no sticker fee. No sticker fee at all. And then, or, or at least reduced to, you know, the, the price of the sticker. And uh, you know something. Why don't somebody else uh, watch uh, what they're spending? Um, you know, we'll have some of these other departments, uh, you know, not spend as much and, and give a little bit on the other end to the, to the general public. You know, that's my. Okay. my I appreciate that. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak to this? I'm just going to go on the record. Excuse me, just to you tell you, yeah. Leopold, just, um, I'm just going to go on the record again. I said this when you voted a couple of weeks ago that to me it's counterintuitive to require landlords to have dumpsters to haul their trash away when you could have X number of tenants who have barrels sharing the burden of the financial costs. You're double taxating, in my mind, the or giving the um, landlord to double burden by requiring them to have a dumpster to haul away their trash. and. Th then it's not sorted or anything like that in most cases. It's just thrown in a bag, thrown in the dumpster. And I also think that then you're putting the burden on them too in their taxes to cover this. And if 
that an option might be to have them just provide barrels instead of a barrel or a dumpster, and then their tenants are responsible for taking their trash to the dump. And then you might get another pool of people that could help offset the cost um, in the end run and make it more profitable. And I thought at town meeting, there was a discussion that the landfill costs were going to go down or the transfer station costs were going to go down for trucking and so forth and that the improvements were going to help bring down the costs of the transfer station. Are we seeing that reduction in costs? Yes, we are seeing that. Yes. We've saved 1300 this month, twelve hundred last month. We only have two months to go by, but we're nowhere near breaking even. Nowhere near it. And Which is what this shows, right? My other question is, is there some other incentive besides the sign that goes up there at the transfer station saying, are you throwing away your tax dollars, to get people to contribute to um, their recyclables or whatever that would bring into town more money? I mean, if you're paying for a trash service because it's inconvenient for you to go to the dump, then they're probably taking your recyclables away too, which is something that many communities in the past have made money on. I understand that the market has dropped out of those. Yeah, so. yeah we don't make money on recyclables anymore. Mm -hmm. It's single stream now. So we make money on cardboard yeah. and some metal, but the single stream we just paid out all the way. And the, you're not gonna may not like this answer, but the one the one way to sort of incentivize people to cut down on the overall garbage that they bring and therefore cut down on the amount of tipping fees that we're paying is with a bag and tag. And that does serve uh, to reduce uh, the amount of stuff that gets brought to the transfer station. There's no, that, that's my, my own personal favorite because then you're, you're, you're taxing, I mean, the, the burden is, is, is on the user. And if, if you don't use the transfer station, you use it sparingly because you, you live alone and maybe you're older and you're not very active, then you're not having to spend that much money. Uh, but there was no, you know, it takes, you want to be able to study something like that. You know, it's not something that you just want to do willy nilly. So there wasn't any time in this cycle in order to come up, you know, ready to open up the transfer station in January with new uh, stickers to do that. So, so what the discussion was here, and it was not universal. I think. I'm opposed. Yeah, Michael didn't, didn't want us to do this. So what we're trying to do is just to. to let users know that, you know, that, and not everyone in this town is a user of the transfer station, to, to <coughs> shoulder a bigger piece of the operating cost of the transfer station. That's the approach that we were trying to do. And I can only speak from my personal experience. However, I grew up in Vermont, and I've been traveling back and forth to Vermont for the last several years because that's where my family lives. And they have a one landfill for the whole state, and they agree that between 40 and 60 percent of the stuff that goes in there shouldn't go in there, and now they have put they in all of these. Sorry, they have a what? They they have an understanding. What that was? They have a one a, landfill for the whole landfill. state of Thank Vermont. You. Thank you. <laughs> all of the, the trash for the whole state is taken to one location, and um, they have come to the determination that 40 to 60 percent of the trash that's taken there shouldn't go there. So as of July 1st of this year, they now have a no food waste and they, they, the county, at the county level and the town level, they give you buckets for recycling and they'll pick up your single screen recycling and they pick, give you five gallon buckets with lids for all of your food waste. And if you get food waste in your trash, people go through this trash. And you get a five hundred to five thousand dollar fine for throwing away a chicken bone or a banana peel in some cases, depending on what offense it is. They also work with the business community, and it's just a shame that our agreement does not allow us to accept um, like businesses that could help offset the cost either, or to work with the business community and come up with different ways to. Um, <coughs> reduce the costs. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak to the uh, proposed fee increase? Go once. Charlie? Okay, so you're going from 10 to 20. 
Charlie Dow and Roland Drew. Uh, so we're going from 10 to 20. So eventually we want to get up to 75 so we'll be level funded because that's what roughly it will cost to be level funded. I don't think we said that. I think we're trying to... Well, you said you wanted to get more closer. Sure. And Absolutely. if you wanted to level fund it... We you... didn't say that, though, did we? I'm just we no, no, I'm just closer. saying if you wanted to get up to level funded, yeah. you're talking about 75. How many years are we going to keep increasing every year? I don't know the answer to that. That's a board decision based on, you know, certain circumstances hmm. and the situation. Like I said before, this is the only thing we really get from Rollins, but we pay for everything else. Well, you pay for this as well, right? I know that. So, I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. <clears throat> well, we, we don't pay for the, well, the fire department's volunteer and the police and everything. And we don't have any service, like Mark said, our garbage used to be picked up. And yes, we used to have a fall and a spring cleanup. We don't have that anymore. Everything has to be brought to the transfer station. So I don't think the it should increase. Okay, thank you. So anyone else would like to speak to this uh, proposal? Going once, going twice, going thrice. I will uh, close the public hearing at 617.